Welcome in Karibuni to our room of Zanzibar. Well, we're still on our Saturday morning trying to make some brunch here. So right now I'm going to share with you how I make these fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Very easy, very beautiful. Okay, so right here I've got my flour that's mixed with the baking powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. And an egg. Sugar. Melted butter. Buttermilk and uh, maybe a drop of vanilla. Okay So I'm gonna start with my melted butter Okay, and to this I'm going to add some sugar Okay, oops Okay, and you just want to mix it your flour and then the buttermilk Okay, you just want to mix this to combine you don't want to over mix it okay I'm just gonna add a drop of vanilla okay. it's okay if your batter is a little bit lumpy it's all right like I say we don't want to over mix it so this is just perfectly all right and I'm gonna let my batter rest for about five minutes before I start cooking this, all right? Okay, so I got my little pan here. You don't have to use this size pan if you have a bigger one where you can do three or four at a time, mostly four. That's perfect. I just like to use this. I don't know why. I like to make my life difficult, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook. But this is on a medium high. I'm just gonna let it cook for about two or three minutes. You'll see the bubbles uh, starts coming up. Okay, this has been cooking for about three minutes. So you can see the bubbles and if you want it. Ouch. Yeah, then you're gonna flip it over and do the same way another two or three minutes so that it cooks well <coughs> there you go See how nice and thick and fluffy, all right? So I'll do one more just in case, okay? Yeah, with this size, you will be able to get about six of these. Okay, so we're gonna flip this. Yeah, like I say, if you have a different pan, you could use maybe something like this. You know, that way you can cook faster. 
So here's our fluffy buttermilk pancakes. See how fluffy they are, how huge they look. And I'm going to serve these with my blueberry sauce that I just made. And for more, I mean, I'm going to put the link for this as well. And uh, you're always welcome. Please visit me at aromaofzanzibar.blogspot.com. Thank you.